Hello and welcome to Capel Mushrooms, uh, the uh, home of uh, Avon and Cole's Organic Mushroom. I'm Patrick Hearn, the youngest son of eight children uh, who, who uh, have all been involved in this farm at some stage. We've been growing here in Suffolk, just outside Ipswich, for about uh, uh, 52, 53 years now. I'm still a very much a family business, my brother and I and my sister. My father just celebrated his 96th birthday. Um, and, um, you know, long may it continue. Growing mushrooms for as long as this time, as long as we have done, you'd have thought we'd know everything we should know about it. But mushrooms are so complicated. They're not a vegetable, they're not a fruit, they're fungus and, and, and require very different things. And I suppose that's what really makes the job so interesting. In all my years, I don't grow tired of it. I love showing people the farm, uh, you know, and I find it, still find it fascinating to this day. So here we are in the brown shed. In the process of growing, we, we're obviously monitoring all the conditions that the mushrooms are growing in. Dear old cameraman here is having enormous problems with his lens because the humidity is very high in here and his lens keeps falling out every two seconds. So apologies for the uh, hazy picture, but uh, it, it's our, our growing conditions, I'm afraid. We've got uh, a variety of mushrooms here. We've got here a button, a cup, a large cup and a portobello. They are all the same mushroom. They will become whatever I want them to be. I can pick them that size or I can pick them that size. I can leave them to grow on and hopefully grow on to this. Every one of these mushrooms is individually hand-picked. Every morning the girls and the blokes start uh, about half past six and they literally they just pull them out of the bed, leaving a little stalk like that, cut across there and into the panic. And that's what you get in your box. Or, here. Right, what I'd like to show you, although I'm sure you all know how to do it anyway, but this is how I would do it, is how to actually fry mushrooms. These are perfect. They're the nice, fresh open mushroom, and sometimes I pull the middle out of them, because what happens is that they flatten out and we're going to fry them in a mixture of butter, olive oil, if you want garlic, but I'm not going to use the garlic today. And you just lay them in the pan and let them sizzle away for ages and ages and ages. Because what you want them to do is you want the, the water that is held in those mushrooms to come out and boil away. And that gives you um, a nice caramelly sauce underneath them. Well, the other thing is white pepper. A lot of people are fixed to black pepper, but mushrooms really lend themselves to white pepper. We go quite liberal with the white pepper and the salt. So you just keep moving them around the pan and flipping them all over. You can just see, I'm just browning the backs now. Put them on the other side. Always over a very, fairly high heat. The olive oil will stop virtually to stop anything from burning. So they're cooked on the back there, and as you can see, the pan is starting to dry out, and that's what you want. You, you want it to boil away all of the moisture, and uh, there we have it. We're all done. There we are. Mushrooms on toast. Mm. Mm. So even after all these years, I like eating mushrooms.